Hello again, Dr. Jim Shaw. Uh, I'm going to talk about Chapter 3, the components, some of the components in Chapter 3. Chapter 3 is what we like to think of as our reflection chapter. It will reflect how you're going to do your study. Chapter 3, again, is a conversation. It's the term that I use for Chapter 1. It's a conversation where you tell us how you have identified the problem, statement of the problem, again, you hark back to a previous chapter, the areas that you're going to study, and why. Are you going to study, for example, a panoply of areas or just three or four areas? Let us know. If you're studying, for example, just to make something up, you're studying children involved in special programs at their school. How many uh, children are you going to study? What grades? Okay. Even gender? Are you going to study girls? Are you going to study boys? Is it going to be mixed demographics, girls and boys? Is it going to be an after school program? Is it going to be just homeroom? That kind of thing. And what grade levels? High school, middle school, elementary, even that kind of thing. In chapter three, continue with your research questions. Research questions drive your study forward. As Dr. Bob Weather said, they legitimate your study as well. Because you're going to be answering those questions as you're embarking on your study and proceeding with your study. So the research questions are the guiding lights, if you will, that keep you on the path of your study that you told us about. Because in chapter two, you've told us the purpose of your study. In chapter two, you've even shown us literature that supports your study. Lots of literature, lots of source citations that support your study. Now in chapter three, you're letting us know where your study is going. So you're defining that for us. That's where you're actually writing. Again, it's a conversation. So you're writing out the areas that you're going to be exploring. And in a paragraph, you describe how you will conduct your study. We need to know. And we call that methodology. Which method or what method are you going to be using to conduct your study? Are you going to be going to the population? that you have in mind, or the phenomenon to observe it that you have in mind? Are you going to be citing others, researching literature? Are you going to be using a case study? Are you going to be collecting data? Maybe you're going to be using a poll to sample. Who's going to be analyzing that poll? So your data analysis comes in. Whatever you choose to support that study is usually OK with us because you'll probably have sufficient rationale for identifying the methodology and using it to support your study. That comprises chapter three. So again, it's a conversation. You've embarked on the trail, so to speak, or the direction you're going. You're going to use the methodology and you're going to continue writing to support your study and your understanding of it is showing that this is the problem you're working on and you've got the methodology to support it. And that's chapter three.